Hello everyone. Today, I show you what's the histogram and how you can use it to expose your pictures correctly. To expose a picture correctly we use the graph called a histogram. It's basically a graph that shows the brightness of different parts of the image. All to the left you have your blacks. When you go a bit over you will have your shadows or the darker areas in your pictures which are not totally black pixels. In the middle you have your mid-tones. Those are between your shadows and highlights. Then to the right you will have your highlights that's the bright areas in the shot. All to the right you have the totally white tones. You want to avoid having too many pixels on both sides of the histogram because they will clip out. If it's the blacks which are clipped out, it's going to be hard to get those area brighter in post without noise. If it's too severe the information is lost. If the whites are clipped out sometime it's impossible to get the information back because the pixels are totally white. Now on to the exceptions. If you want to make a high key shot, which is a picture where the dominant tone is white. This technique is used mostly in portrait photography. There's also the opposite called low key. In this case the dominant tone is black. This technique can be used in different situations. For example, if you want only the contours of a glass or giving the picture a dark mood. To get good exposed pictures you should have the most pixels in the middle of the histogram. Let me show you an example. On my cam I have to go into life view and press the info button a few times. When my exposure is set there are still some blacks and some whites. If I cover the SSD you will see that the histogram changes and there are less black pixels on the black side. If I overexpose my shot, you will see that the histogram is going to shift over to the highlights and to the whites. If I underexpose the shot, you will see that the pixels will shift to the blacks. So basically, that's the histogram. Thanks for watching. See you.